Hey, Rock Church. Happy Thursday. My name's Jay. I'm the Hamden Campus Pastor here at the Rock Church. Uh, we are wrapping up this little three-part devotional series we've been doing um, on how to prepare for Easter. The whole idea for this series came from John's Gospel, where we saw John the Baptist and his disciples, their whole ministry was about preparing the way for Jesus. And then when Jesus himself showed up, John's very own disciples missed him altogether. And we said, we don't want that to be us. We want to make sure that we're not so busy preparing for Easter that we miss Jesus altogether. I'd love it if you'd go back and watch the first two parts of this. Today, we're going to talk about how do I prepare myself for Jesus? Like, what, what can you do to make sure that your heart is prepared for Jesus this Easter? You know, I get it, every family has a lot of traditions. Yours might be different than mine. I know in my family, we used to decorate hard boiled eggs and, and then we would hide them and you'd have to find them. Um, dear God, I hope we, you know, I'm thankful we never lost any of those eggs in that hunt, you know? Um, or how about Easter egg baskets? What, what even happened to Easter egg baskets? The, my, my mom used to do the wicker baskets with the fake grass and, and we'd put our eggs in there. There was candy in there, by the way, jelly beans. I'm just saying the starburst jelly beans, that's the way to go, right? Uh, but what, what, what family traditions you had, I, I don't know what they are. Maybe they're the same as mine or different. What I do know is that every family is busy preparing for this big day. And it made me think of another big day in scripture. It's in Luke's gospel. Uh, Jesus was coming to town to, to visit Mary, Martha, and his friend Lazarus. And everybody's busy getting ready for the big day. I'd love to read it to you real quick. It's in Luke's gospel, like I said. It says, as Jesus and his disciples continued on their way to Jerusalem, they came to a certain village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. Her sister Mary sat at the Lord's feet and listened to what he taught. Hang on to that, because that's key here. But Martha was distracted by the big dinner that she was preparing. You see that she's getting ready for the big day. She came to Jesus and she said, Lord, doesn't it seem unfair to you that my sister just sits here while I do all the work? Tell her to come over here and help me. But the Lord said to her, I love how gracious Jesus is. He says, my dear Martha, you're worried and upset over all these details, but there is only one thing worth being concerned about. Mary has discovered it and it will not be taken away from her. Now church, I have a confession to make. I have nothing to do with the ham on Easter Sunday, except that I eat it, a lot of it. But, but preparing it, I, I don't even know what all that takes, but I do get it. There's a lot of details that go into preparing for this day. But let's not, not be so focused on these details that in the midst of them, we lose sight of the big day altogether. I love this song, how deep the Father's love for us, how vast beyond all measure, that he should give his only son to make a wretch his treasure. How great the pain of searing loss, the father turns his face away as wounds which mar the chosen one bring many sons to glory. Church, this is our father. And in the midst of everything else, he loves you right here and right now. A song continues, it says, Behold the man upon the cross, my sin upon his shoulders. Ashamed, I hear my mocking voice call out among the scoffers. It says, It was my sin that held him there until it was accomplished. His dying breath has brought me life. I know that it is finished. Church, this is our Savior. Not a savior that I'm hoping someday in the distant future he'll come and redeem me. He already has redeemed his chosen ones. It is finished. So what's our response? I will not boast in anything. No gifts, no power, no wisdom, but I will boast in Jesus Christ. His death and resurrection. Why should I gain from his reward I can't give an answer but this I know with all my heart his wounds have paid my ransom this is our confidence this Easter Sunday listen Rock Church I know that we're gonna have a great 
Easter weekend ahead of us. I know Good Friday service, I hope you can join us as we, we remember the cross and then our Easter egg hunt here at the Bangor campus on, on Saturday and then Easter services at all three campuses. I hope, I hope that you'll join us as we celebrate our Savior. But let's learn from Mary's, Mary's role in the preparation of the big day. In fact, I don't know what you're doing right now, but if you can, would you stop? How do we make sure that I am prepared for this big day? Stop. It is finished, church. It is finished. Just whatever you're doing, take just a second and stop and receive the Father's love. Take whatever you're doing, just stop for a second and gaze upon our Savior. Well, Jay, how, how long do I have to stop? I've got so many things to do. Well, stop until you have the confidence in your heart that says it is finished. I hope to see you this Easter, Rock Church. Happy Easter. How deep the Father's love for us. How vast beyond all measure that he should give his only son. To make a wretch his treasure How great the pain of searing loss The Father turns his face away As wounds which mar the chosen one Bring many sons to glory Give an answer 